Hey, it's Norm from Tested.com. I'm here at the Swiss Next facility in San Francisco and with Max Reiner. You and your team invented something really cool. It's called the Birdly, and right now Will is behind me using it. Max, this is amazing. Tell me the story of Birdly. Thanks. Uh, yeah, actually, Birdly is a research project at our art university. We are from the Zurich University of the Arts, and with this project, we try to capture the dream of flying, and literally the dream of flying. So. Everyone had once in a lifetime maybe a dream about flying. It's the best dream ever. You know? Exactly. And then when you wake up, you're falling, and then mm -hmm. you wake up, and you, everyone kind of gets a mm -hmm. sense of what it would feel like to fly mm -hmm. like a bird. And mm -hmm. you've kind of captured that. Yeah, exactly. And the idea was actually to do a full body simulator which captures this dream and also is very intuitive because you don't want to learn how to fly in your dream. You mm -hmm. just want to fly. And so for us it was quite important to have a very intuitive control and you just enjoy the flight which you have. So um, as we can see, Will's wearing yeah. the Oculus Rift. Exactly. Um, yeah. This is Development Kit 1. Yeah. And you guys started this project basically in November. Yeah. Um, and you built this whole thing. So what is this contraption that Will's on? <laughs> so this is actually the motion platform because like you see, when Will moves around, then he will move his body as well. So when he dives, then the platform dives as well. And when he rises or goes to a curve, his body moves along to that. And there's, there's feedback. Yep. Not only is it positional feedback for his body, yep. um, you have wind blowing in his face. Exactly, yeah. At the moment we have auditive feedback, visual of course, tactile, we have under there, and of course wind feedback. The wind feedback is obviously the one you will feel the most, mm -hmm. because this gives you back the speed actually, how fast you're flying. Oh. So it's regulated. So it's mapped, so if he's diving or exactly. flying faster, the wind's exactly. going to blow harder. Yep. And then you also are doing some smell feedback? Exactly. So now we have eight uh, different smells. And so the idea is when he flies over a river or the ocean, then he gets the ocean smell. When he drive, uh, flies over a street, he gets street smell so or of a forest. So if he gets concrete like or gets smoke. Exactly. Or yeah. Maybe a blood smell. Ah. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we don't have that. And then you're also yeah. flying in San Francisco. Exactly. Yeah. So the, um, because we knew that we come to San Francisco, and especially for this occasion, we thought it would be great to fly in the city where you are as a bird. And so we asked a company Company, the company called uh, PLW Model Works, and they were so great to support us with this high detail 3D model. And we built this in our engine, and now you're able actually to fly around uh, the city you live in. So I've used you know, something like a Google Maps or the Google Earth to fly yep. around their virtual city. Yep. How did you have the map, the, the feedback, and also mm -hmm. the, the control scheme yep. so that it feels like you're actually flying like a bird and you have that yep. type of graceful movement mm -hmm. um, in that type of 3D world? Yeah. Uh, we just use the 3D data. The game engine is by our, ourselves. So we okay. programmed actually the whole game around it, used their data, implemented it in our system, and our whole um, system is fine-tuned actually for this flying experience. And so that's why we couldn't use uh, Google Maps or something like this, because we need to, to have the inner details how you fly. And to capture the, that feeling of flying like a bird, because you're flapping, yep. Will's flapping right now, mm -hmm. and you actually have to put some some yeah, power into that, Yeah, right? totally. So as a bird, you also need energy. You, you need to spend something to fly. And maybe it's even a good exercise for some of a you. A good pec workout, <laughs> like yeah. doing push-ups. And the, the harder you pu push down, the higher you get. The higher you get, yeah. the more resistance exactly. you feel. So you can actually you know, get yeah. up high and ride those yeah. winds and, totally. and, and sail. But usually you're a soaring bird, you're a bird of prey, so most of the time you can soar, only if you do crazy flights, or I call this the Death Star, fly through the valleys mm -hmm. of the streets. Right. I, I, when then I you have the to demo, flap. I was like weaving between buildings yeah. and, and trying, like, mm -hmm. it, it felt really immersive. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the controls, I know you're working on future upgrades. Yeah. Right now you have this two axis yeah. of movement. Um, are you going to get shoulder rotational movement? Yeah, definitely, because we want to have more free, uh, degrees of freedom, how you can fly, because now we just can flap in that direction and move, but it would be also nice to, when you go into a real deep dive, to, to take on your wings and gain even more speed. It's just the kind of thing that I've never, you know, you watch birds your whole life mm -hmm. and you see them, you have an mm -hmm. innate sense of how they fly. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys have captured that beautifully Thanks. with your Birdly yeah. project. And you built it in basically half a year. But it was a lot of dedication and no weekends for us. So. No weekends. <laughs> but it was a fun project, so <laughs> you don't need anything else.
Well, thank you so much. Where can people find out more about Birdly and what you guys yeah. are doing with us? Uh, we have a website called birdly.chdk.ch. There you can find us. And all, if some of you are maybe at the Seagraph next week in Vancouver, we are there as well. Awesome. If you have an opportunity to try out Birdly, I can't recommend it enough. It's amazing. Will's having an amazing time soaring through San Francisco. Thank you, Max, so much for sharing this experience with us. Thank I'm you. I'm Norm. We'll see you next time. Bye.